between airfare, food, and lodging, the average American spends $1,600 on a summer vacation. But by taking a road trip, you can dramatically reduce your overall travel budget, especially amidst falling gas prices. Here's how to manage your fuel costs and save more than 15% on gas alone. I didn't get a treat for you. First, before taking off, prep your car. Ask your mechanic for a maintenance check that optimizes your car for fuel efficiency. This should include making sure your tires are properly inflated and a general inspection of all fluids, hoses, your battery, and air conditioner. Next, avoid long detours and getting lost by using a free online road trip planner to build a custom map and itinerary with planned stops for gas and restroom breaks. This means you can research the best gas prices ahead of time. For example, Gas Buddy is a free mobile app that shows you where to find the cheapest gas for both short and longer trips, calculating up-to-date data for the best deals. Tools like these can help you decide where to buy your gas, one of the biggest cost factors on your road trip. The first gas station you encounter after a long stretch of highway might be pricier than others, so again, plan ahead to find a cheaper station. And if you're about to enter a new state with a lower tax rate, wait to fill up after you cross state lines. Now once you've got your route, stay on track by using your smartphone. Navigation apps like Navigon and TomTom, Tom, although pricey for apps, let your phone act like a standalone GPS. And both Gas Cubby and Green Meter will track your gas mileage for you. So all these tools can be really helpful. When you buy your gas also matters, but maybe not in the way you think. Perhaps you've heard that it's best to buy gasoline early in the morning or late at night to get the most bang for your buck, capitalizing on the density of gasoline at lower temperatures. But experts say that's not really true. It's true that gas is denser at cooler temperatures, but most stations store their tanks underground, so the temperature changes very little, if at all, during the day. Instead, fill up your tank early in the week. Gas prices tend to rise starting on Wednesday and continue to do so through Saturday. So your best bets are Sunday through Tuesday. As well, don't wait until your tank is almost empty to buy gas. That's because you won't have the luxury of being picky. Another myth, you may have heard that rolling down your windows while driving lowers your car's fuel efficiency, but the vehicle's real drag is the AC. In our Tesla Honda Accord traveling at 65 miles per hour, turning on the air conditioning reduced the fuel efficiency by three miles per gallon, but there was virtually no difference in rolling down the windows. So you're better off enjoying the breeze than turning on your AC. Driving fast will cost you as well. Hard acceleration and braking are habits that waste fuel. So instead, use cruise control or just drive smoothly and below the speed limit. Next, look for fuel rewards programs at gas stations, banks, and participating retailers. For example, with the new Fuel Rewards Network program, you can earn rewards at participating Shell stations. Just make everyday purchases online with participating name brand merchants or restaurants for savings like five cents per gallon for every $50 you spend. To receive your free rewards card, register online. And as always, we want to hear from you. What are some creative ways you're saving on gas this summer? Connect with me on Twitter at Farnoosh and use the hashtag FinFit. For Yahoo Finance, I'm Farnoosh Tarabi. Thank you.